Arthur. Daddy. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. No, no. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Here we are. Morning, mister. Morning. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last... Listen, buddy. 
You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. My friend, you know where we went? Don't know. Billy, where are you? See that feller I was with? No idea. Billy! What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. Close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why ain't you never met? That's the thing you see, because it. Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Now! Close to that eye! She needs you! Oh, come on! Get up! Lenny, where are you, Lenny? <laughs> See my friend? Oh, I don't know me about that. Come here. Come here. Leave the kill alone, you goddamn animals. Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Stop slumping off on me! How many of you have, pal? Just switch to water, my friend. There you are, Lenny. I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. <laughs> Found you, Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, what are you talking about? Off. Off. What are you doing? Friend of me, Arthur. Shut up. Cheers. 
chairs. Not you again. No. When are you gonna bring your stones to the table, huh? Watch yourself. Watch your step. Hey, now, try looking where you're going. For Christ's sake. Hey, watch yourself. Hmm. Yeah, do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention yeah, yeah. the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. You know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Ramsbottom. At your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies.
don't understand this at all. Hey, over here! What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Plenty of road to spare. Suggest you use it. I'm ready to get this over with.
Hunter. <laughs> I don't remember too much. You? I woke up in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Messy. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Sure, sure. Oi, oi. Remind me to never bring you to a bar again. Oh, give it a rest, Morgan. Oh, oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You can take us, too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Uh. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. <laughs> Let's go. All right. You know the way? Yeah. Me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking? <laughs> Hey! I ain't do it. Lady! Sing us a song. <laughs> I got a girl in Berryville. Can't be screwed because she's too damn ill. So I don't go down go there right no here. more. It's quicker. Is one of you going to get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Blizzards have hearts. 
Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Fine day, ain't it? All right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah, that guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait, ain't you the feller who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? No. Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. Don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well, it's all done now. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Yes, 
fellers. I'm trying to stay out of trouble now. Okie dokie. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They had been yeah, gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. But I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking to get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. Get off of me! I'm getting what I paid for. No. <coughs> hey! Who are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. Okay. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Shit, no! Just borrowing it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Why me? I don't want no trouble! We need to talk, pal! Go 
Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Oh, well, dear. you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Not never, baby. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I never forget a face. This is your first time here, right? Thanks for your assistance. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Hey, partner. <clears throat> we got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Oh, I gotta talk to them first. Then come Thought I'd teach the them a few things, friends. you know. Clint Woodford. Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, pa. Holy hell 
are you doing, boy? Get that back up again right now. I I'm going to be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is.
keep forgetting what the tab is. God damn it. 